Hey guys, so welcome to the part six of um my um Unity Horror game tutorial. Slender, well not not really slender. Um, I'm actually working on my own game right now. That's why I'm not gonna be like you know uploading tutorials every day. But they're gonna be pretty um pretty close together, pretty packed up. Um, so don't worry. Today we're gonna be covering the design. Well, it's gonna be like really fast, but mainly footsteps and um. Yeah, so today we'll be mainly covering footsteps and stuff like that. So, um, first, um, I got actually a really small request by one of my new subscribers to cover like how to put a design on the page. Well, what you can do, you can open up Photoshop or Paint, or just open up Paint because it's really it's faster than Photoshop, you know. And um, yeah, you set up a file new. Let's say like something like that. Um, yeah, and then you just want to make a little design here, like like help. Then you're gonna save as. Sure, save it as JPEG. Um, put them under a folder you have. Um, like I have it in my pictures folder and for example let's use my page five page four and page this one oh um, yeah so like for example you just drag drag your pages in here they're designed for your pages and um first paper um my, my, no there's only two papers so first paper let's say this now if you zoom it in you can see that it works um then for glowing I, I don't really know how to do glowing all you can just do is maybe put a little bit of point light like scale it down the opacity down like maybe like this so you know if like if you I'll turn off the light for example you can see it's glowing a little bit so yeah that's how you would do it um yeah like, like that um now as I promise we're gonna cover footsteps and um I've actually got a small script folder now I'm gonna get all my scripts um so I'll show you my footstep script in a second. You put it in your script folder. Footsteps, you're gonna open it up. Um yeah, so it looks like this. It's gonna be in the description. I'll give you a link to it in the description. So var steps is audio clip. It's going to be your audio clip. Then is walking in the beginning of the game is false because you're not walking. Controller, it finds a character controller. Awake is the beginning of the game. Get component and finds character controller. Then it checks if you like if you are moving at least point fifteen something in a or like if well it says that pretty much if you're moving like in this in velocity if you're moving it says that um that is walking goes true so otherwise you're not walking because if you're not moving you're not walking um i really know what this does then you create a function so if is walking it plays the audio sound and yeah, that's pretty much it. Control S. And uh, you should attach it to your first person controller. Or is it player? Player. And I got it. Is walking. Now, make sure you put another audio source. Now, for steps, you're going to do size 1. Element and you need to have your uh, footsteps thing. Um, so 
you're gonna drag your footstep right here onto your element one and um, as you can hear it should be working now Maybe no. Actually, you have to put on your first-person controller. My bad, guys. Um. So where is it? Footsteps. Plop. Footstep. Yep, it's working. So make sure if you make it empty object and you put your um first person into your empty object make sure you put it on your first person not on the empty object on um, make sure you put it on the child of your empty object that's really important um okay i want to make my tutorial a little bit longer because my previous tutorial is fairly fast um um another thing that i promised is i'm going to do the sound for our slender now, as you have a uh, slender, slender trigger, we're gonna add an audio source. So we we got an audio source. Now let's see. So we're gonna attach your sound script right here, and um, I'm guessing we have to put our um, jump scare sound effect. Um, so, I think I have a jump scare sound effect. I don't think I do. I'll be right back with you guys. We're going to get my jump scare sound effect. Hey guys, I'm back. And I got this little, it's not like a jump scare sound. It just says, uh, kind of says like seven days. And we, we, we want to trigger that. So, as we already attached our um, thing right here when make sure it doesn't play on awake and put our seven days right here you also want to make sure it's a 2d sound um apply so okay so play is this so let's try doing this And yep, yeah, it works. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This was Boris Media Prods with a sound and um, footstep tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Subscribe. See you guys.